Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to Blood and Wine. And we shall long first of all, sorry of for this witches. ridiculous Captain Hook hoodlum haircut with the handlebar mustache that kind of looks like Wolverine in a way, actually. Uh, you can blame the stream for this. Uh, we're going to get that fixed up ASAP. But uh, I wanted to check out this notice board. And then, since there's only, like, a couple of um, Toussaint-based side quests left, I figure we might as well finish them up. Um, we'll see what happens on the notice board. Maybe there's some other interesting things. And we'll go directly to those. But uh, let's see. So, Beauclair Oak Lumber for sale. If you're looking to buy some oak and don't mind the paperwork's not all in order, I can help out. Okay, cash only. Got it. Caution, Knights Errant. Uh, I warn you, if you don't stop attacking windmills, I will be forced to lodge an official complaint with Her Illustrious Highness. <laughs> Organizing an expedition. Anyone who desires glory and fame is invited to join me at the Grander Place on... Or, sorry, the Grand Place on the 17th of the current month. I plan to set out in good company and in search of adventure. We're sure to encounter many damsels in distress and have ample opportunity to help the oppressed. Tierman de Briard. Beware of monsters, they're known as Bargists. You've seen those. Ladies, keep an eye on your men. At the top of Lynx Crag dwells a witch who muddles with menfolk's minds. I don't know what sorcery the Trollop uses, but ever since my husband visited her, he's changed beyond recognition. Beware the Witch of Link's Crag. I'll have to look for that. And then, Master Magicker. I need a hard, high-kneed man who won't spill his sphincter at the sight of sorcery and can give a witch a good fecking hiding if it comes to it. You'll find me chopping wood near Fox Hollow. My name's Jacob, and chopping wood's what I do. All you poop for brain feckers who think you're jesters, I'm warning you, jesting's over. Jacob, woodcutter of Fox Hollow. Okay, Jacob, that's what I want. Please tell me that that's a trap. My hand shakes so bad. Yes, a nice I cannot hold my He's tools. actually nearby, too. So that'll be perfect. Uh, Master Magicker. And what's this? Oh, the history of Gwent. We picked that up in the uh, Gwent livestream. By the way, if you guys like that stuff, I'm going to be streaming the uh, the Gwent tournament. Uh, because I know that a lot of the YouTube people, they're not big fans of Gwent for whatever reason. I, I get it. It's not for everybody. But uh, there are a large portion of people that are into it, like myself. And the last couple of streams that we did the Gwent stuff was actually really enjoyable. Um, so I'm going to do the tournament uh, live on stream as well. And yeah, hopefully that goes well. Okay, a Knight's Tales, shall we? Uh, I guess, you know what? We don't need to, uh... We don't need to run over there. Let's take Roach. There's no place that I can get my hair cut around here, unfortunately. But, uh, as soon as I am able, we will definitely... 100% uh, We'll be cutting this hair. <laughs> I don't even know. We did, like, a vote on it. It was... It was, yeah. I knew I was doomed from the beginning. Fortunately, we can fix it. We just have to look at it for a wee bit longer. You thought the last one was bad. This one's, this is the worst. <laughs> Jacob, you don't look like cutting wood. Look at your God's hiding under a tree. Poke. You must hang on, milady. Got a wolf for a friend? Oh, look at the blood. What the hell? You, Jacob? Heal, Mohort. <laughs> Down. Who asks? A witcher. Saw your notice. Hold up. A witcher, you say? Like in Louis Herrera's tales and fables. Luckier than a green, bleeding leprechaun I am. I guess See, so. Not a soul around believes this tree is Daphne, the cursed lady of legend. But you, you could lift the curse. He thinks this is a person? You believe the tale? Aren't you a little too old for fairy tales? Bit too old to believe in bedtime stories, aren't you? Want your chops busted, Witcher? How old I am, that is none of your porking concern. Well, I'm probably Fair old. point. Not my business what you believe, either. Huh. I'm content we see eye to eye. So, what makes you say this tree is a cursed girl, besides the fact that it might be bleeding? So what makes you think there's a girl cursed inside the tree? Well, 
I came out with my dog, Moholt, to cut her down. Axe in hand, a broad swing I took. The edge burrowed deep in her trunk, and bum botch me if blood didn't spurt forth. Okay, that is the reason. My jaw dropped in the dirt, but right then I knew. Every jot of it in the tale of Daphne, Gareth, and the Witch of Lynx, Craig. Don't tell me. From Herrera's tales and fables. You porking bet. Second edition. I meant it in Octavo. <laughs> I know those tales by heart. My nan read them to put me to sleep. Guess she read it cover to cover, colophon included. So, why is it that you're so into fairy tales? Just fond memories as a child? Got me curious, gotta admit. You really think the old tales are true? Taking the weepy, are you? Do you think me bore me? No, it's just these are dark, grim times. No room for nights pure of heart or happily ever afters. So I don't often run into folk like you. Yes, true, the times are crud pie. But I see this as all the more reason to remember the tales. My gran would say, if you know not what to do, think to the chessboard knight and noble Alondra, and the path they would choose. She schooled me so thorough in it, I could not do otherwise even if I wished to. Okay, let me check out the tree then. Let me take a look at the tree. Careful now! Okay, so I'm not thinking there's too much more that we can examine. I'm feeling like maybe I the wolf is rustling leaves. Oh wow! Actually, does bleed. Looks like human blood too, and the bark resembles hypertrophic scars in places. Medallions humming like crazy. Intense magic at work here. Yeah, there is something. Logger was on. making good time. Strange though. Willows isolated. No other trees near it. Actually does bleed. Looks like human blood too. And the bark. Oh, there's a marking on the ground. hypertrophic scars in places. Seeped from the direction of the tree, judging by the shape of the stain. And? Did you look at the tree close? Mm-hmm. Actually does bleed. Pretty incredible. Looks wondrous. Did I not say so? Okay, so I'll do this, but... My help doesn't come free, you know. You speak to a lowly woodcutter. No stench of coin about me. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. We'll do it for my Agreed. base rate. I will pay as soon as the young mate is free. Yes, you will pay. We will build the wall from your trees. Willing to help. But first, I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. Miss Daphne and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome laugh for each other. Yet, to prove himself worthy of her hint, Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Crag. Oh, perfect. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief, a token of her favor. Let me guess. He never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why. I will fecking tell you why. To await the moment when Gareth returns, kerchief in hand. That is the power of love. The power of longing. So you must scale Lynx Craig. Search there for a means to free Daphne. I will give you my book of tales to refer to, and good luck, Witcher. This is perfect because that was one of the interesting notices that we read. Uh, this Lynx Crag thing, so... Let's see about this book here. Daphne's Wraith. That's not what I wanted. Let's go here. Tales and Fables. Sir Gareth and Miss Daphne loved each other so much it hurt. To win the approvals of his future father-in-law, Gareth had to perform seven challenges. The seventh was the hardest. 
hardest. Gareth had to go to Lynx Crag, find the witch who lives there, convince her to lift the drought that plagued the whole land. Everyone, including Daphne, pleaded with Gareth to humble himself before the witch. You see, the witch from Lynx Crag was spiteful and headstrong, even for a witch, and only an act of true humility could break her icy heart. Gareth, however, had no intention of bending his knee before a witch. Instead, he planned to force her to lift the curse. Nobody knows what happened on Lynx Crag, but Gareth never returned to his beloved. Daphne stood on top of a hill and looked for him day and night. Finally, she turned into a tree so that she may live to see the return of her knight. She was the strength, or such was the strength of her longing and the power of her love. Anyone who plunged his axe blade into that tree would see blood run from the wound. Folk started to avoid that place, leaving Daphne to peace in wait for Gareth. In all, or sorry, in time, all had forgotten about her. Except for Jacob the Woodcutter. Okay. Roshi. Here we go. Let's go find the witch that tempts the men away from their wives. I have a feeling we might find him there. Maybe willingly, maybe not. We'll throw on our, uh, actually, we don't have them, so. Let's get off the horse. And let's go ahead and take these. We should also check the entry here for Daphne's Wraith. Should be under Spectres. There we go. During the his stay in Toussaint, Geralt had involved, or had became involved with a curious case of gynodendromorphy. That is to say, a woman who had been turned into a tree. When one cut into this tree's bark, it bled, and when the wind blew through its leaves, one could hear muffled sobs. Geralt investigated the matter and learned magic, or possibly a curse, was responsible for the transformation, and it surely has something to do with a certain sad episode from the woman's past. The love of Daphne's life, the knight errant, had gone to the Witch of Lynx Crag and never returned, leaving her to wait for him forever, filled with sadness and longing. Vulnerable against Spectre Oil. Okay. I like that. Should we go ahead and just throw this on? Might as well. say we'd have to like scale it or something so I wonder if this is actually oh no ah! the right way about getting up here I guess so looks like we do have an actual path we can follow what the hell is that behind us okay, let's continue this place is clearly isolated and not meant to be reached Easily. It's a little hut up here. That's cool. A hut. The witches. There's a cave. Okay, or not cave. There's a cage. I'm gonna actually wait till nighttime so we can kind of set the vibe a little bit here. We'll go. Uh, we'll go 11 o'clock. We'll throw in our decoctions. There we go. Look at the moon. There's something inside. Hut looks inhabited. No sign of the dweller, though. Guess I'll look around. Yeah, not yet. Remarks on the proper administration of yarrow? Notes on the use of yarrow stems. Interesting. Yarrow is first and foremost used for medicinal purposes. As mentioned above, when the leaves of this herb are placed against the flesh, they heal all kinds of trauma, wounds, and sores. Brew it, and the resulting tincture treats the common cold, colic, and loss of appetite. Yet, in addition to their healing properties, the branches of the yarrow plant can be used for fortune-telling. This method of divination, or divination? probably divination, 
might seem strange upon first glance, but is in truth simple and effective. It truly allows one to focus on the queer at hand and gain an understand an answer, both accurate and satisfying. Okay. Got a bear skin? Uh oh. <clears throat> oh mm -hmm. yeah. A wall of spell enhancements or trophies. Okay. Arrow broken in half. No doubt to bring bad luck to the archer. Branch of a grapevine. Could be to ensure a good harvest or a bad one. What about the doll? Doll looks like an accessory for casting curses. And the kerchief? Silk kerchief, monogrammed DF. Daphne? Hmm. Could use it to break the curse if it's Daphne's. It's worth a shot. None but feral cats stray in here most oft. Yet uh -oh. it seems I forgessed from afar at that. What do you seek in my home? Watch, it's gonna be him. Nope. Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do Well, you? yeah, of course I do. What if I do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales? Did your nan not tell them to you? Even I, the witch of Link's Crag, would be hard-pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. So, you want to tell me what happened to Sir Gareth? The Lady's Knight. You ever make it here? Sir Gareth. Yes. He came to sway me, but had a quick change of heart. To be precise, it came after the first night we spent together. Oh, yeah. He stayed a fair while. Then his conscience got the better of him, and he resolved to return to his beloved. Might have resolved to, but never made it. A tragic fate befell him along the way. You have anything to do with this turn of fate? Of course. Was I to let another woman have a man who belonged to me? <laughs> wow. I could not abide it. Interesting. So... I guess... We could try being polite. What if I asked you nicely to lift the curse, please? Gareth met the fate he deserved. And what happened to his wench was not my fault. All right, so you didn't cast the curse. But could you help lift it? I probably could. But why ever would I? I mean... <laughs> I'll humble myself. I'll humble myself. Prostrate myself before you like the Gareth of the Tale did. I beseech you to help me. Lift the curse that imprisoned Daphne in the tree. I don't think she's gonna buy when it. When I saw you enter my hut, I thought, now there is a fellow who shall bend his neck for no one. Stand. None, not even I can restore to the last the yes she has lost, can erase the suffering she has endured. Right, we but... cannot bring her back to life, but I shall tell you how you might let her depart in peace. Yet my aid shall have its price. A lock of your hair. Take it all, uh, honestly. How can I know you won't use it to cast a spell on me? I require this. I must, for with it I will cast a spell to conceal me from you for all time, and will use it for nothing else. You will nag me never again, and you've nothing to fear, I assure you. Doesn't really help I me. I always keep my word. I'll just do it on my own. Not about to trust you, with a lock of my hair or anything else. I'll handle the curse myself, without your help. Go right ahead. I wish you luck. Letting me go, just like that? I could not have devised a better ending <laughs> for this little tale. Uh -oh. Our visit is done. Adieu. 
for never shall we meet again. Hmm. I'm not sure what to make of this exactly. Um, I've got the music down, so I just realized that. But it was actually, it was kind of nice to not have the music going. It was very, like, felt a little more real. Now, the question is, what the frick does that mean? What just happened? We've got this handkerchief with her initials on it, and I guess that's, like, our only hope, right? So, if we would have trusted her to cast the spell, we don't know what could have happened, but she says kind of the same thing, like we would never see her again. We, she would be invisible to us or whatever. Um, now she says we're never going to see her again anyways, so I'm not sure what the difference would have been, obviously. Morhold, this, his wolf dog thing has a name. She had like a... So, I don't know what that was. was you met the like a, You must have. I did, maybe what did you wolf. learn? I mean, she was, I don't really, wouldn't say she's not bad, but maybe not near as bad. That witch, she's not near as bad as folks say. Made me bow and scrape, sure. But I know some sorceress is witchier than her. Joyous, bleeding news, but what about Daphne? Well. Daphne's kerchief. We'll use it to lift the curse, but we gotta start at the right time. When the hour comes, I'll light four fires for the four winds, then begin the ritual. Fires? Then I shall be of use to you after all. Seems you need wood, much of it. Yes. Chop as much as you can. I'll see to the rest. Hopefully you got something better than that knife you're carrying. I've chopped and stacked the wood. What now? My turn. Gotta light fires and talk to the woman enchanted in the tree. No idea how this'll turn out, so just in case, stand at a distance. And if you see me draw my sword, run. I think I know how this is gonna go down. Okay, let's light the fires. Your last to the world's four winds. From the south, not a word. From the east, no cry is heard. From the north, silent sighs. And from the west? From the west, pure hollow eyes. Cease your vigil. Dead he lies. Does that work? Hear me, you who hide beneath this bark. Recall today who you really are. Behold a kerchief, proof of your love for another. It's working! Let's defeat this thing. We already have the oil. Whoa. What's that wolf doing? Come closer. Jeez. 
quite powerful. Got skeletons. Oh. So much for removing her peacefully. Fucking fairy flips! What the demon happened there? My fault. Went about lifting the curse the wrong way. More like Tor than freed her from her prison. Shock was too much. Released all the rage and pain that was in her. Blimey, man. I suppose that's what I get for hiring a bungler. At least the lady's pain is done. I wonder She'll if there's another no more way to go about tree. that. Now we take your coin and go. We got the job done, but it clearly seems like there is a more elegant way of doing so. I have to imagine that there was. Hmm. Interesting. I kind of feel bad that we, like, just jolted her out of there like that, but... Go, <laughs> just go! Park go. The tree. Classic. Okay, so... Let's make a beeline. Hey, Tony Champion! the nearest barber. Fix what we've done to ourselves. Best cure for the beast, a witcher. Guess this champion. Okay, so I guess we'll probably have to head into. Where is it? Down here. Uh. That's the Camerlango. Oh, you know what? I think it's at the tourney grounds. Yeah, there it is. This is the guy who gave us the haircut in the first place. Was right and fair. Go Ming! Welcome, Sir Avix. I've heard tell of your accomplishments. Oh, good. Need a bit of grooming. Okay, let's get into it. Let's see, let's do... Shaved head and ponytail, is that what we had before? Yes, I believe so. And the beard, um... Let's keep it fluffy. Yeah, that feels better. My time's up. So long. Thank you. Feeling much better I'm about nothing. ourselves. Cheap panfara. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Um, that was interesting. I really wish we could have maybe gone about that a different way, but I'm not sure what we would have needed to do. Um, yeah, I'm really not sure. We still need a little bit more money if we want to restore Cover Bianco to its former glory. Um... Complete the contracts you took from this guy. We kind of just stumbled upon this before. And I'm not even sure what they are, but it's probably just little, uh, like, destroy everything in this area. So they're at these random question marks. Um, that's my guess. Maybe I'm wrong. And we also have this one, which we could probably take a look at. Um, but let's take a break for today, and then when we come back, we will, uh, Please, maybe go and do Father Knows Worst. Trump on her. Wisdom lies stripped of all that is noble. There's no way. Lords, over generosity. But she would not be murdered in this area for doing this at three in the morning. have shown themselves cowards. Folks show no compassion. <gasps> Thus the gods have no compassion! Can you silence? Oh, them. Thank the you. Gods oh god, she doesn't stop. stop no I can't even. Things. 
Yeah, this will have to do. Okay. Oh, she's still going. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.